I've been seeing a lot of people talking about a project management certificate and wondering whether or not they should get it. So let's talk about it. Greetings, good day, and welcome. I'm Deanna, your favorite project manager. And today we're gonna talk about if you should get your PMP certification. You've probably heard me mention this before in my how I got my project management job with no experience video, but I do not have my PMP. That's right, you're a big fat phony. I have been working as a project manager for officially two years now and I still do not have my PMP certificate. So if you've been wondering whether or not you need one, let's break it down from my own experience and talk about if you should get it. On today's agenda, we're going to first cover a little bit of the reasons as to why people even consider getting a project management certificate. Then we'll go a little bit into what do certifications even cover. We'll touch upon those instances when you might might not need a certification then we'll talk a little bit about how having a certificate or not can really impact your career advancement then with all that information we'll conclude if getting a PMP cert is right for you then as always we'll wrap things up with some final thoughts and tips now let's dive on in and talk about why people consider getting a project management certificate i'm roger and i'm famous for saying dive on in project management certifications like the pmp or capm are often considered ways for you to formalize your skills in regards to project management for many people having the official certification on your resume one kind of naturally gives you a boost of confidence because you have earned the certification it is officially acknowledged that you have honed in on those certain skill sets that you have taken the time to master whatever it is that you got a credential in and it just makes you you know feel better about the work that you're doing and the knowledge that you have to do said work and in addition to the boost of confidence it also just makes your resume stand out much more amongst your colleagues so I know current times the job market is rigorous to say the least and having that official credential on your resume not only gives you confidence but gives your potential employer confidence that you have the capabilities and the knowledge and such to do a project management role or any role that you are looking to get a industry recognized credential in and in some instances there are industry where certifications are highly valued and sometimes it is a requirement that you have the certification before you can even think about applying to the job. I know that a lot of the job postings that I have recently seen, especially in IT and engineering, they have specifically listed a certification as an absolute requirement. In those fields, if you have your certification, it can really open up doors that you never thought would open up. So in those instances, that's why people would consider getting a project management certificate. So what is it that you will learn as you are are trying to pursue a certification in project management. If you are looking to get your PMP or CAPM, the certification and the classes connected to it covers a wide range of important topics. Everything from project planning and risk management to stakeholder engagement and mythologies like agile or waterfall. If you are someone that is super duper fresh to project management, like there is absolutely nothing on your resume that can relate to you, project planning, risk management, stakeholder engagement etc or maybe you are someone just looking to expand your knowledge a little bit the structured classes that comes with getting a PMP or a CMPM can be really beneficial to you on top of learning more about project management or just clarifying some things you'll also gain some really practical tools and knowledge to help you manage the complexities of projects which is especially valuable if you're looking to move into new industries or look to take on more technical areas so we know what you'll learn if you were to consider getting a certification but what might be the instances where you may not even need one I've said it before I'm gonna say it again you don't always have to have a certification to be successful as a project manager I mean hello shut up 
it's so fetch. Over the years, even before I officially held the title as a project manager, I have been successful with managing projects and it don't got nothing to do with a PMP cert. And as far as me growing as a project manager, specifically a project manager of development and working with grants and fundraising and such, it hasn't held me back. I have been able to flourish and grow and become a better project manager over the years. In industries like grants and development or even in creative fields, your experience and ability to deliver results often matters a lot more than you have in that piece of paper. In my line of work, and I feel like this can connect to a lot of other industries outside of grants and development, but the focus is more on getting things done efficiently and effectively and making sure that the projects run as smoothly as possible rather than whether or not I have a certification. If I am creating great results, then there's really no need for me to get a cert. However, if I was lacking, if there was anything that I did not know, if my story of not ever holding the title of a project manager got in the way of my current job description, then I would have probably went after a PMP. And one of the things that having a PMP or a CMP really has impact on is your career advancement and salary. Though my story does not detail having a PMP, I certainly can see the benefit that comes with getting one. In some industries, like I said, especially in IT and engineering in the tech world, having that certification can lead you to higher salaries or make you eligible for more senior roles and responsibilities, which again, comes with more coin. Money, money, they money, money, that profit will make me wallet fat. Especially if you're someone that is transitioning into a new industry. Like I've said before, though I never held the title of project manager, I am still within the grants and development industry. I did not go from working in grants and development and now all of a sudden I'm a tech girly. That's not the case. I stayed in my lane. However, if I decided to venture out of my lane and I wanted to step into IT or finance or tech or I don't know, working at an animal shelter or whatever the case may be, whatever it is that I decide on, if it does not cover grants and development, then I would look more into getting a certification so I know what the I'm doing. So ultimately, is a PMP certification right for you? And honestly, truly, it really depends on your career goals, what industry that you're going into, and your prior experience. If you are working in an industry or looking to step in an industry where it is heightened how valued and important it is for you to have certifications on your resume, then yes, you should go after your PMP. You should start on the courses right now, tonight. However, if you are working in a field that's much more hands-on and when you step back and you look at your resume and you're like, huh, I actually do have a lot of project management experience and you just have to craft and tailor your skills in order to showcase that experience, then you may not need a PMP and your story could look a lot like mine. Honestly, truly, I would take a step back, look at jobs in your industry, even ones that are not just about project management, and and just see what their requirements are and what they're looking for. If it looks like that most of them don't really require certification, that they are accepting and open to your prior experience and how that can count towards you being a successful project manager, then don't don't even bother getting a PMP. Like it's okay. It sounds like you can be successful without it. However, if you look at certain jobs in the industry that you would like to step into or the industry you would like to advance in and they mentioning certifications a lot and they are preferring that you have a certification then then guess what guess what Patrick say that again that again no the other thing no the other thing yes you you should get your PMP cert expeditiously so now let's just wrap things up with some final thoughts and tips ultimately when you are making the decision about whether or not you should get a pmp or a capm i want you to look at your specific career goals if you are looking at what you want to do how you want to advance how you want to get there etc etc and it seems like a pmp would further help you advance and actually contribute to the path then go get it however again if you are somebody with a story like mine and a 
the PMP just may not be right for you right now. Maybe you can take your past experiences and things that you've learned and your skill sets that you have been able to develop at your past jobs and apply them to what you're trying to do right now and become a project manager. Like I said, I didn't get a PMP and I'm a project manager. So the same thing can happen for you. Certifications can be extremely helpful in a lot of different industries, but that doesn't mean that they're a requirement unless the job posting specifically says it's a requirement. As I said, from my experience, I found that like my track record and my practical skills have been enough for me to grow in my career. So depending upon your specific information, make sure to take the time to weigh the cons and the pros and even think about things like, can I even afford to get my PMP certification right now? And if so, how can I map that out? See if you have not just the money, but the time to dedicate to get your PMP cert, just like with any certification or any class that you take you're gonna have to make time to study you're gonna have to make time to go through the course you might have to take the time to meet up with your professor if you have any questions or concerns and such there are a lot of factors that could go into whether or not you are even able to get a PMP or even thinking about going after it so take some time weigh the cons and pros and determine if getting a PMP is really right for you oh would you look at that you made it to the end of this video Thanks for watching. Sometimes goodbyes are a bitch. <laughs> T-shirt idea. Goodbye, stink. If you are someone that is considering getting your PMP cert, I hope this video gave you a little bit more guidance and a little bit more clarity as you continue to think about if a PMP is right for you. And after watching, do you think getting a PMP certification is worth it? Or do you think you could step back and really look at your experiences and maybe those speak louder than any certification will ever speak? Regardless, please make sure to leave all your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe and until next time, bye y'all.